the series finale, guys, of Black Lightning, Season 4, Episode 13, The Book of Resurrection, Chapter 2, Closure. And we get a lot of closure in this episode. A few deaths here and there, but, uh, you know, very surprisingly, very few. Obviously, Tobias meets his end, and uh, he gets impaled on the spike. Uh, him and Jefferson go hand-to-hand, you know, throwing full fist of cuffs, you know what I'm saying, and powers. Uh, Tobias obviously tries to smoke Jefferson with his weapons, but ultimately he dies. You know, even when Jefferson is trying to bring him to justice, it's just not enough, and he ends up dying. Now, what I find funny, though, is Lala is actually the one that sees him dead. You know, uh, Salim Akim said that Lala is actually one of his favorite characters because it reminds him of a, a lot of himself, but then also the guys that he grew up with. Uh, who had a lot of evil in them, of course, but also had a moral compass, had some compassion, and gave back to the community. Um, and then also, what I found really interesting about this uh, series finale in this last episode, and I'm really sorry I didn't see it go, because I really was hoping for like another season or two, is how Jefferson really got out of his coffin, because he damn near died. You know, we saw in the previews of last week that he had to talk with his father. His father giving him that pep talk, like, look, Take everything that you know and everything that you ever had and put it towards finding Tobias. You know, and anytime it comes to find out, uh, while Jefferson's trying to get himself out of the coffin, Anissa, Grace, and Gamby, they find the admitter and they turn, they destroy it, thus giving Jefferson his powers back, then also giving him an extra boost by taking the Prometheum that's in, that's underneath the very city of Friedland and actually giving him an extra boost in his powers. Now, what I found really interesting about all that is just how, you know, essentially that's how he got his powers was for Prometheum. That's how he became Black Lightning, in my opinion, for based off of what I can gather from all of that, which I thought was really dope. Um, like I said, Tobias meets in, he gets impaled on a damn spike. Jefferson tries to save him, but he ends up dying. Lala sees his dead body and so forth. Lala's probably just like, damn, bro, really? You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing I want to say, too, is the fight. The other thing I wanted to really talk about was just more so um, the fight between J.J. and Jennifer. Now, everyone's probably thinking, like, wait, what? What do you mean, Schaefer? J.J. is Jennifer. Oh, no. Oh, no. J.J. was actually an entity from the I- I- from the ionosphere. And I'm so uh, twisted over the fact that I did not put two and two together. I knew something was wrong, was a little off about it. Even the characters, Lynn... Uh, Jefferson, you know, they suspected that something was a was a miss because that's not Jennifer. Not just in the in the in the uh, essence of you know the looks department perception, but also in behaviorally, you know, psychologically. And, you know, JJ, <laughs> like I said, it was an entity from the ionosphere. She had no body, you know, literally no body whatsoever. She was just that of the darkness of the ionosphere. Um, and she just grew envious of Jen and resentful of Jen and envious of humans because she always wanted to know what that life was like. And that's why you saw that energy always reaching out to JJ whenever, you know, she would go up in the iron spirit, recharge her body. Because that was the, the real Jennifer trying to reclaim herself. You know, if you guys remember, back when Jennifer really started getting into her powers, the lady, her mentor, kept telling her, you know, you have to be careful with the island spirit because there's a lot of darkness up there. Remember back in Crisis, you saw Jen face off with, just prior to the dark, I mean, prior to the crisis, you see Jennifer face off with three, you know, entities and versions of herself, you know? And I kind of feel like that was also where, where J.J. was at, you know, in a sense. She was just laying in the cut, you know, waiting for the moment to snag Jennifer's DNA and then, of course, apply, become Jennifer. And then, but then also, you know, just not in the looks department. So that was really interesting to see, in my opinion. I thought that was really dope. Even the showrunner and creator, uh, Salima Kim, said, uh, Kill said um, that it was more so about the Akashic realm and the spiritual realm. You know, and I, and I, and I think that's so dope how they tie that into there. I love hearing about the Akashic records and spirituality at, at, you know, within a whole, spirituality especially. And so I think that was really incredibly dope how they tied that into that show a lot. And that's why, that's part of one of the reasons, that's actually my main reason as to why I'm going to miss seeing that show so much. But I'm also going to be excited for the Painkiller uh, spinoff because they're going to dive more into the Akashic records and so forth. And plus we got new characters as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing Jordan Calloway uh, portray Khalil, a.k.a. Painkiller, you know, and they as they meet their balance in these brilliant characters and also taking on Agent Odell. 
taking down him and his daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because Khalil, you know, put her in her damn place. You know what I'm saying? That episode. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. So I'm looking forward to seeing what all happens with that. Uh, thank you uh, to the all the cast of Black Lightning, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to CW for giving us uh, a wonderful show that represents us four seasons, man, and I hope one of these days we can possibly get something more, probably like a rehashing, you know, one more season, maybe, who knows, but for now, I'll settle for the Painkiller uh, spinoff, and I know that's going to be dope, I'm definitely going to be doing reviews about that, man, maybe even reactions, who knows, I love y'all, man, stay safe, stay guarded, stay stay wise, stay aware, I love y'all, man, peace and love, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let your boy know what you guys think about this, man. Are you guys sad to see Black Lightning go? What are your thoughts on the last episode? And what do you guys think is going to... And what do you guys expect for, um, for the uh, Painkiller spinoff? Let your boy know in the comments. I love y'all. Peace and love.